things get unlucky for Kid Robot. Here's your spooky look at the Kid Robot Brant Peters, the 13. The horror comes slithering back. <laughs> Felt it would be fitting somewhere in the lines of Spottober this month that we'd be doing a spooky uncasing. And what a better spooky uncasing to be doing than the Brant Peters, the 13. The horror comes slithering back. No, you're not going to be getting 13 inside. What you are going to be getting is 20. Four up, or four across, and five up. That gives you 20 boxes that we're going to be opening up. If you have s'mores currently cooking, you may want to just pause the video and go grab those. Come back. Nobody wants a burnt s'more. Unless we're, we're going to open up each one of these and check out the contents inside. And I really do think that these are perfect for Halloween. You can see on the front of each of the individual boxes, there's blood trickling out from the door. Sort of a similar tone to Shining. That's odd. The blood usually gets off at the second floor. I love the coloring of the boxes. And of course, here are some of the colleagues that would be making up the unboxings here. Some of these are rather interesting. Some look like a skull. Some look like Monty's, is it Marty Skrull from Ring of Honor, who has a similar look, the villain. A couple of nurses in there as well. What do we got on this side? I like this one. This is, if anything, the one I'm going to be getting. I hope it's this one right here. But it also does give you a number telling you how many you get per case. Say, for example, you do want these somewhat Jason Voorhees dummy. Dunny, then you have this one right here. This is two of 20. There's one that's a sort of a jack-o'-lantern. Well, again, you get the idea. We're going to open up each one of these on the underside. Brant Peters, the 13 Dunny, not dummy. You can also check out their website at www.kidrobot.com. That being said, let's go ahead and open up each one of these by Chet Cuddington, the third. He will be making an appearance for this review. Gonna be quite a substantially long video, I would imagine. So again, if you guys have snacks, something you would like to grab, like to kiss your loved ones goodbye, maybe for the next three hours or so. I'm gonna open up the first one and proceed until we have literally every single one of these all completed. The first one that we're gonna be pulling out is sort of squishy. Not the thing I was expecting it to be, but we're gonna open this up. And what we got here is a dunny that's been covered in a, a sheet. I think we can actually pull this off. Let's just see. Is there something underneath? There is something underneath. Well, we can pull it off. And we've sort of got this neat skeletal looking dunny. You can see the skeletal face there. A nice touch is actually by incorporating a sheet that has this sort of glittery look to it. You see the little bow tie. Even like a little smiley face. Well, it's not even quite a smiley face. It's sort of like a spooky face. But it, like I said, this is all rubbery plastic. You don't get that too often with dunnies. Speaking of dunnies, the articulation on all of these will be the same. It's pretty much this. That's that's it. I do like the coloring quite a bit. This is really a neat looking dunny. And we just started. Just started. I'm going to go ahead and get the sheet back on the dunny. I feel it's almost a lot more difficult to put back on than it was to take off. That's usually the case. If you've ever reached in. Not willing to wait, of course, to the end of the cereal to get your prizes out. You can never get those bags back into the boxes. You always try, but the boxes end up just sort of looking like a warped mess. Reaching and grabbing the next box, cutting the tape on the end here. If you guys are interested, by the way, to pick these up, many of the casings that I do can be found over on Kid Robot's store. I'll provide the link down below in the video description. The next one isn't. Oh, it's actually got a few parts with it. It looks like gills. Are these gills? I don't know. Let's let's find out. We'll dump out the contents. Let's see specifically where this is supposed to go. I don't know if they're supposed to attach. Where are these supposed to attach? The ears? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to guess the ears, but I guess I probably should cross-reference this to the box to see if I'm actually right. Hmm. Let's have a look here. Checking for... Oh, it, it was this one. Well, it certainly doesn't go on its ears. That would be silly. I was guessing it was either going to be the wings, the ears, the ears on its head, or it was going to be the wings on its arm. I guess those would have been the only two choices I would have been able to do, to uh, have. There you go. It's a bunch of wings. I guess it's somewhat a, what would you say this is? Like a Dracula? It's 
kind of got has somewhat fangs going on there. The wings would be somewhat of a dead indicator. Ah, I see what I did there. Dead indicator that it was probably going to be uh, like a vampire. Some interesting detailing, though, done on the back of it. But again, they're all sort of in this sort of kind of glowing orb-like color blue. What a weird description I just, just gave you guys. But opening up the next box. I don't know. I started working up this way, but I almost feel like I'm just now going to work across the front and then kind of work our way back. This way. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Ultimately, we're still going to open up all of these and check out the contents inside. I hope everybody is having a good October, by the way. I know this year, unlike any other year, is a little more stranger to contend with because we've got, of course, the other stuff, the other real scary stuff in the world happening right now. But I hope everybody is still staying safe, staying healthy, as we do get our we did get ourselves another uh, ghost dunny. These don't technically have names, by the way. Like if you look at the box, they only really have numbers to tell, you know, specifically. Like this one right here would be a rare one. I don't know if is that an axe sticking in its head. Now I'm curious. I would really be interested in picking up that one. And this is the other chase one that's on the other side. But well, we did get ourselves another ghosty ghost i'm gonna put that one right over there i actually do really like that one with and without the sheet cutting the next box open checking out the contents inside yeah i guess as it goes for halloween parties pfft, trick or treating probably also pfft, all sort of a big wash right now but the big underlining message is that we still want to be safe if it means that unfortunately halloween sort of has to take a bit of a backseat this year well, unfortunately, that's the thing that we have to do in order to, again, stay safe. I got myself another vampire. I'm just going to take the liberty of leaving this in the packaging because I don't feel like I'm going to open up every single one of these if they're duplicates. But we get the idea that we have two and two. Chuck Woolery right now, two and two. The next box that we're going to open up, I guess, marks the fifth box. And while we're doing all of this, you're probably going to start amassing you start seeing an amassing of pile of garbage all around the center area. I'm trying to do my best to sort of keep everything to the side, but you know that never really works. If I only had an imaginary maid, somebody I could make reference to, but actually really wasn't here. If I really did have a maid, boy, that would ever come in handy, wouldn't it? The next one we have is a nurse. Now, I did say that it was articulation in the head. What I failed to, I think, mention was the fact that there's articulation also in the hands. This specific nurse has, it looks like a lollipop and a, a, a nurse's hat. Let's quickly get those freed from their plastic prisons. Pulling out this one. And we'll go ahead and pull the hat out for the nurse. At least I'm assuming it's a hat. I mean, what else could it really be? And whereabouts would this fit? Would it just fit? Well, there's like a little notch here. I don't know if the intended idea is it's supposed to just fit against the head. It doesn't actually, it sort of just sits on the head of the nurse. Any bit of banging, you know that's going to fall on the floor. But we can go ahead and give the little lollipop, just fit that into the hand. One side is a plus that says, you know, healthy, we're going to come save you. The other one is, the other side of it is a lollipop. A little spiral there. Um, I don't know, is she a nurse? Is she a candy striper? Do we even call people candy stripers anymore? I think those are ones that help around the hospitals. Lisa Turtle, I think, in that episode of Saved by the Bell, was a candy striper. As much knowledge as I really have about the topic of candy stripers. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up the next box and see what we got. I know I've already said this, but I do dig the coloring here. This blood red that they've used. Hopefully the only blood red that's going to make an appearance in this review. I got to be really, really careful that I don't get too careless with my knife. Because that knife is pretty sharp. And it would slice my skin like a hot knife through butter. Or a sharp knife through skin. I'll put that right to the side. While I am going ahead and cutting this, let me just throw out some questions for you guys during this Halloween season. What was your favorite costume that you guys dressed up as ever? From the moment you were born till right now, right at this minute, what was your favorite costume that you guys ever dressed up as? Let me know down below. While we are uh, tallying up some answers from you, the viewing audience, let's go ahead and take out all. The this one's got a lot of accessories going for it. Again, I gotta be really careful with that knife. Whew. Whew. That could be dangerous. 
That could be dangerous. This is the one that looked a little like the villain, Marty Skrull. Is it Skrull? I always feel like I'm saying it wrong. The wrestler from Ring of Honor. I think as far as I know, he's still in Ring of Honor. Uh, he does come with a mask. I mean, that's what his defaulted head looks like. Sort of has a face for radio, as they say. But that would definitely be a face that warrants having a mask. So I guess the idea is this just fits over top of his head. Once it gets down far enough, then you just sort of rest it over top that area of his mouth. I like that this is, again, that carryover translucent plastic. And I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to fit these in his hands. I mean, the hands are pretty close already to his body. Is there a right way and a wrong way to do this? Oh, hey, there's some stitching on the back there. Maybe there is a right way. Maybe there is a wrong way. Maybe the thumbs are supposed to... I think these are somewhat thumbs. But I'm going to go ahead and pretend that that is the way it's supposed to go. And that on the other side as well. Here we go. And last but certainly not at least, to finish up the look of the villain, we can go ahead and add his hat. And unlike the nurse, this actually has like a little open notch here that I'm guessing is supposed to fit against the ear. And doing my best, doing my best not to knock it, not to knock it, not to knock it. That's what it looks like. I really like that one. Ooh, that's a nice one. I'm going to put that one over to the side. And we're going to cut open the next box. During this month that I've coined Spottober, we're, of course, going to be having a look at regular reviews like we always do all year round. But, of course, like videos like this, we're going to sprinkle in some spooky stuff as well. I know it, it seemed at one point I really wasn't going to be doing spooky spots this year, but I thought, no, the viewing audience demands spooky spots. God darn it, I'm going to, I'm going to provide those spooky spots related videos to the viewing audience. Now this one does have a cleaver. It also does have a hat. I want to show you what it first looks like. Get the camera to really zoom in on that. I like this one because it's got a jack-o'-lantern head. And while still making use of the dunny body, you can see they've turned the ears into little spooky ghouls that are sticking out from the top. You can sort of see like it looks like the jack-o'-lantern's been cracked open. And the ghouls and ghosts are peeking their way through. That's really clever the way that they've done that. Now this one does come with a cleaver. So we can go ahead and put that into its hand. Just like that. Ugh. This one's a little harder. It seems to get in there. And then we'll go ahead and put the hat on there. Now it doesn't seem like it's the same hat. Maybe it is. Well, this one for the villain. I'm just going to coin it the villain for the rest of this video. This one does have the 12 on the top there. This one doesn't have the 12. But it looks like it's the same hat. So they're just making use, uh, reusing the same mold. And that's perfectly fine. That one, again, is a really neat, strong contender for maybe my top three favorites of this set. Still, we push forward because, again, my hope is, and I'm sure I'm probably going to get it, is this one right here, two of 20. With the fact that the case is 20, and for the fact that there's two out of 20, I would think at the very least I'm going to get two of these. My hope is at least I get one of these. If I don't get any of these, well, somebody's been playing a Halloween prank on me. But let's go ahead and get this one opened up. It means I always have to pick up my knife again because I cut the box. Then I put the knife down. And just in case you were wondering, I put the knife down blade away. You don't want to have that blade close to you. As Homer would teach you, you don't want to hand the knife to somebody. you got to handle it. Hand it to them, handle side first, never blade side first. That, you know, never works well. Let's see what we got for the next one in here. I, I do believe, I do believe, I do believe it's the same one that we had gotten before, the villain. Complete with all his contents inside. I'm just going to put that one over there because obviously we've already looked at it. Let's not drop everything in the process either. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is when I need that imaginary maid to come in here and help clean up this mess. Although anybody would really say, if you're one to make the mess, you're also one that should clean the mess as well. Ooh, sound words, sound words. Let's see what we got for this one inside, and definitely a different one that we had gotten before. This one also has, I think nine times out of ten, they all seem to have accessories. This one happens to have, again, it looks like wings, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to make not the mistake I made before by assuming it goes on the ears. Instead, I'm going directly to the arms. And I'm passing go along the way. As you can see, it's sort of a devil 
I'm not really sure what this is. It's sort of like a little cartoon character with devil horns, but apparently it also has wings like the other one did. So this will just clamp on. Or is it supposed to be hands? Let's quickly look at the boxes here. Checking, checking, checking. Nope, it is wings. They are wings. We'll clamp one onto one side. And certainly while we're in the market of putting on wings, we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I can't say that this one's my favorite. It's a little lower on it, but I mean, I do like the design of this quite a bit. This one's got six, by the way, on the top. I'm wondering, I guess all of these, if I'm just checking these around now, like this one here had five. I think we've come up to realizing something. This one here has seven. Yes, they are all numbered. Uh, the villain, I think probably had it on his, oh, he did have it on his hat. His was 12. So again, neat the fact that they are all numbered. So you literally can count up to 13. We'll grab the next box. Get this cut open. Just like that. Yes, my plan is, hopefully during this month, that I'm going to do a little bit of both. The regular reviews, the reviews that you guys want to see. But then also sprinkle and throw in there like a dusting of icing sugar. I'm going to throw in some spooky related videos as well. It's been a tradition on this channel. And from what I've heard from some of you, this is something that you guys look forward to seeing every single year. So again, I wasn't going to let you guys down. So that's why we're going to be looking at some Halloween related videos sprinkled in there like too much icing sugar. I know icing sugar is something you got to really be careful of. Regular granulated sugar. I feel like I always put the right amount on, but icing sugar is basically like granulated sugar concentrate. And you never know how much to put that stuff on. Like before you know it, you're putting like cups of icing sugar on stuff. Just in case you were curious, that's too much icing sugar. But we already have this one. This was the number six. We're going to go ahead and put him down to the side grabbing the next box. And just like that, I mean, look at this. We've accomplished quite a bit of successful goal here. We've completed half the way over. We've completed halfway into the case. And we're going to still push forward, my friends, as we cut open the next box and open up the contents inside. Still, that Jason eludes me. I'm just going to call it Jason because obviously it's got a hockey mask on it. Cut the bag open again and see which one we got inside. Well, it's not Jason, but it does have a lot of accessories. Put the bag just to the side. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. I got stuff falling everywhere. Uh, this one is sort of, I don't know what I would describe this one as being. It says three. Oh, it's got a, it's got a spider on the back of his head. Uh, on the underside, well, it's got Brant Peters, which we didn't really look at in, on any of these. I really, I'm curious about this one. I like the big button eye. Is it celebrating Oktoberfest? Is that, that's kind of what I've landed with to describe this. I'm probably completely wrong. Is that Lederhosen? Is that what they call it? Lederhosen? Nonetheless, though, we're going to open up. Oh, this one's got like a little crow. Look at this one. That's pretty cool. And it also comes included with, I'm guessing that to be a collar. And open that up. Dump out the contents. Now, I don't know where specifically this is supposed to go. Maybe it's supposed to go around its neck. When all else fails, we can just check the contents. There's the side of the box. Yeah, okay. So I guess the, the whole idea is this is supposed to be like a scarecrow, I'm guessing. That makes sense. That makes more sense than someone celebrating Oktoberfest. I've literally just put a bottom collar on there. So yeah, it looks more like a scarecrow. Not much scaring I'm sure it's doing because there's a crow. Where would the crow go? It's got a little peg on there. Does it go? See, like those are, there's a little peg right there. I'm assuming it's supposed to go somewhere. But where? Where is it supposed to go? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It'd be hard to see it because the, the kind of plastic that they use, there's literally a hole right there. And I guess the idea is the crow is supposed to fit into that hole. As my father would say, can't see for looking. Even though I was looking for it, apparently I couldn't see it at all. But the crow sits literally on the top of its ear. And I like this one. I like this one a lot. And I'm not just saying it because it's got a crow on top of its ear. I'm going to put that right over there. 
And we are now quite a bit making progress. If you technically count this one, the one that I'm pointing with my sharp knife, that's probably a no-no. If you count this one, we're down to nine. And to think where we started, we started at 20. How many of you are still still awake? Have you fallen asleep? I hope, I hope everybody's still awake. Let's open up the next one. See what we got, see what we got. And we've got the same one as we got before. I mean, it seems like the trend with these is when you open up the one, the one that almost is right next to it ends up being like a duplicate. And this one is no exception. Well, let's keep going. Let's keep going and see what we got going on. I'm gonna cut the next box, take up the flap. You know, even, even though, I mean, come on. I try my best, I really do, to cut that seal and hope the flap opens up nice and smooth, but it never does. It always looks like a dog got a hold of it and just chewed it right up. The foil bag, of course, and we'll go ahead and open that up. And the next one we have, oh, this is kind of neat. This kind of reminds me of, um, wasn't there like Looney Tunes? There was a gremlin in Looney Tunes. Kind of reminded me a little bit like this. It's interesting. It kind of looks like a, it's kind of a clown cat. A clown cat with the number nine up on its hat. This one has a little tongue sticking out. I like the little button nose that they've given it. In fact, actually, I'm like looking around. This is the only one that actually has a nose. And that's what it looks like on the bottom there with Brant Peters. Yeah, I do like this one, even though it's hard to kind of describe this. If somebody literally had their eyes closed, I would be very hard pressed to describe what I'm looking at to them. And they would have absolutely no idea based on my description what I'm actually looking at. So instead, I'm just going to put it down and I'm going to grab the next box. Cutting the seal, even though you know it's not going to be, it's going to be pointless. Oh, wait a minute. That actually was cleanly opened. I dismissed it right away, just assuming it was going to be a train wreck again. And yet, surprisingly, it wasn't. We're going to open up the next one. Now, this one, again, has this sort of gooey... It reminds me of jelly shoes. If anybody was around in the 80s and bought jelly shoes, this kind of reminds me of the same sort of material. This clearly has eight and eight in two different styles on either side of its face. It sort of has like a skeleton look, too, doesn't it? And, of course, underneath that, you know it's hiding something. Let's see if we can... Oh, and look, the ears stick through. Instead of the ears being part of this material, the ears are underneath it. Well, I'm going to see if I can peel this off without doing too much destructive damage. Because you know there's there's some ugly mug underneath that's just waiting to get a breath of fresh air. And scare the pejeebies out of all of us. Well, that, that's not the easiest to get out. And even though it was the hardest to get off, the end result is actually a really nice looking skull underneath it. It's, kind of, it's sort of like a mummy. It looks like it's got like a ribcage sticking through. Boy, this guy's seen better days. I'd say seek medical attention, but I think we far surpassed the time allotted to seek medical attention for this poor chap. The articulation again is the head, the arms. I really like this one. I like it with and without. Songs like the helmet or the skull head. I like it actually both ways. So in, in this case, a couple of these actually in good cases. Oh no. I was going to say in some in some of these cases, it actually benefits getting more than one of these, so you can display them in two different ways. And as I said that, I quickly interrupted my train of thought to be reminded, unfortunately, that this one is only one of 20. So I have to really come to a decision. I have to decide for myself which which way I'm going to be displaying that. That's a lot of pressure sitting on my shoulders. P pressure I really was not expecting to get. I'm going to just move this box a little bit for further forward so I don't have to reach so far back to get to everything. Again, we're going to cut the seal on the front. As scary as these may be, the biggest scare that I'm going to have to deal with is the fact that after this video is done and I'm closing up shop and Tony's already left for the day, I know I'm going to have to basically go around and clean up everything that I've done. Because I'm really the only one that does cleaning up around here. This studio runs only on my, by these hands. If you think they run by that guy's hands, you are sadly mistaken. I mean, when he first answered that want ad that I put out there looking for extra help, 
I really did think I was going to be getting somebody that would be able to pitch in, you know, make, earn his pay. And that hasn't been the case at all. I know what you're thinking. Like, why would you say that? I'm sure he's only listening and he really isn't listening. And I mean, like literally, like right now I'm looking up at him. He's looking at me. He just gave me the thumbs up telling me I'm doing a good job. He he has no idea. I don't even think his, I don't think his earphones are even on. Anyways, though, we have uh, Jason Voorhees as close proximity to that, as I would say. It does have the hockey mask, spiraled eyes, that's a nice touch, and blood all over its ears. It doesn't really have Jason Voorhees' body, mind you. In fact, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Huh? What? Huh? I'm just looking at the box here. That's not the same outfit, is it? It's missing a little bit of red. Oh, it's missing a little bit of red on the top. And it seems to be an alternate... Well, no, it's the same place. But it doesn't have all the stripes. This one's missing some of the stripes. Oh, well. Go ahead and still put the knife into its hand. Just wedge that in between its claw grip. And we got there a Jason Voorhees. Somewhat a Jason Voorhees. Again, it's just got more of the hockey mask than anything else. But, boy, that's that's neat. I just wish it had... I just wish it had the stripes that, unfortunately, it shows on the packaging that this one doesn't actually have. But then again, we do have two of these, so maybe the next one that we open up, or the second one of those, will have the correct placement of paint. Let's cut the next seal open. Open up the box. Yeah, it looks like a dog's breakfast. Put that to the side. Get cut into the foil. And no, no, it is. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what happened. But that box has definitely an extra stripe on its shoulder than the one that actually has. It, I have in my hand doesn't have that. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It, I think it works better having that extra stripe along its shoulder. And for some strange reason, I just never got it. Oh well. There's what the back of it looks like. I don't know if I showed you guys that or not. Sort of just been tied up to its face with this rope. Boy, that's got to chafe, I would imagine, that rubbing against your skin. You ever had rope rubbing against your skin? We'll just stop talking about that right now. Forget I even asked that question. Rope rubbing against against the skin. The next box, and actually the fourth last box in this adventure. I suppose right now we could actually technically take a tally. Uh, we We had gotten this one. This one. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. We didn't get this one, which I guess is just a variation. And I don't think we we don't have this one yet, which kind of looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon. With that being said, reaching into the box. And we got another one of these party cat, lightning bolt cats. I don't know. I'm just throwing anything at this. It's interesting. I don't know. Again, I don't know what these are. Is it supposed to be balloons? It's attached balloons to its mask. Again, the idea is it's supposed to still be using the Dunny body and then just finding a different way to, of course, to paint that up. I still like this one, though, even though I wouldn't be able to describe it. Not to save my life. The third last box. If anybody has made it to this point right here, thank you. I know sometimes these videos, by the way, and it's like I'm handshaking a ghost. I don't know if I would have to worry about germs when I'm handshaking a ghost because it te- technically doesn't have a soul. We'll handshake the invisible ghost. But if you have stayed it to this point in the game, if you're right here in the video, thank you. Thank you for watching these more prolonged, dragged out videos where I like to do these uncasings from time to time. And I hope in through that, you guys have had some fun. We've had some laughs, chuckled a bit. The next one we have is this one right here, which I think, speaking about the one that we had just done, yeah, this is the somewhat, somewhat creature from the Black Lagoon. And with that, there's all this extra stuff that you have to attach to it. And I don't even say attach because it doesn't really, you can see like if I tilted it, tilted it upside down, it would just simply fall right off. But this is supposed to sit on top of its head, I guess. And with that, it's got these extra fins as well. Ah, yes, those fin wings. They're still reusing those. Going to dump that one out, dump that one out. And these will just clamp onto its arms. 
on one side. Let's not drop its headdress and put it on the other side. Oops. Let's stay in place. Stay in place. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Whew. Number four. Number four. It would have been actually better if this was the fourth box that I opened up from the end, but this ended up being the third last box, but I'm not going to hold it against him. I like the design on this one because it's got all this extra, these extra fin pieces, these fish pieces. Oh, look at the back of it. So it's a skull surfing mermaid and he's throwing dice. Well, I mean, I've, I've just about seen everything now, but I like this one. I like this one a lot. I just got to be careful that it doesn't fall off. If I tilt it back, God knows the rest of this thing is all going to fall off, but that's still a pretty fun looking dunny. Well, that pretty much now leaves two boxes left, and quite the adventure and quite the mess we've made. I'm going to just do my best to just bring them both forward now, because I don't want to contend with the idea of having to reach so far back. What if I fall forward? What if I fall on my face and I need help? And again, producer Tony's not even paying attention. He's I'm looking up at him right now. Yeah, hi, Tony. He's doing the thumbs up. He's, he's not even, he's so not paying attention. That's okay. That's all right, Tony. Right after, right after Halloween is Christmas, I'll remember you when it comes to gift giving time. The next one we have. Oh, this one's interesting. Oh, I do believe. Let's have a look here. We did get the variant, which is the one of 80, which happens to be a witch. Now it's got some interesting things going for it. Let's open up the wrap here. One of the bags happens to be a mask. And the other bag happens to be, it looks like a, it looks almost like a melted candy apple. Ooh, this is very interesting. Here I was expecting I wasn't going to be getting any of these variants. Um, I don't know how I'm supposed to get, unless I'm just supposed to peel this up. How am I supposed to get the mask on her? Maybe I'm supposed to do it from the bottom. Uh, essentially what it is, let me just walk you through what's going on here. Number 13, fittingly enough. 13. Well, it would have been better if it was the last one that we opened up, but it is of the witch. And then of course there's a mask that goes over top of it, sort of just hiding her face. Well, I've already realized I can't do it by taking the hat off. So maybe what I can do is work from the bottom, work from the bottom. Most people probably won't put on masks like this. If you have a friend that puts on a mask by putting his feet into it first, let me know. I really want to meet a guy like that. Fitting it over her pigtails. There we go. That was a bit of a chore, wasn't it? There we go. The problem is the uh, the elastic wants to ride now up. Well, at least that's what I'm working with. I probably could have found an easier way to do that, but that's the that's the route I ended up going. We'll go ahead and put the wand in her in her hand. That's an interesting one. Clever and creative with what they came up with. The idea of having the mask over top of it. I think I probably would... It's all said and done for all the work that I just did to get that mask on her. I probably would just find myself leaving the mask off in its entirety. Because I just think I like the face underneath more so. Anyways, we're going to put that to the side. Now, what are the chances? What do you think the chances are that we're going to be having to get the other rare variants? I mean, up to this point, we've gotten every single one of these... Uh, except for, I guess, the other nurse. Now, these are both 3 of 40 and 3 of 80. It's a good possibility. It may be this one right here. But I'm kind of holding out hope that I'm going to get the other variant. And of course, the only way to find that out for sure is to go ahead and cut the box once again. Open this up. And let's see what we got inside. Oh, such a mess. I've got such a mess everywhere. I mean, you guys only are really seeing here and you're seeing over here, but down below, down below here, there's just a disastrous mess. Even if I had the black hole still, it would be so much easier. I could just literally dust, just sweep, sweep everything into the black hole. I know, I know, they always say you shouldn't loiter black holes because, you know, of course, that's the last place that's still clean. But I would do that. I would do that. Uh, the last one we have is actually a duplicate. It so happens to be that same creature from the Black Lagoon. Same problem still with having the headdress sort of falling off. Uh, it doesn't send off this case uh, better than it did when we, if we had had the witch, for example, as the last one, I think that would have been a little bit more, it would have had a little more oomph to it. 
Sadly, it was the second last one, and the last one we had is, in fact, a duplicate. But that's okay. It's still a neat-looking dunny, nonetheless. Okay, so what we normally do when it comes to wrapping things up, yes, there's going to be still be a whole lot of cleaning up on my part, but normally still what I then do is I go and pick out my top three favorites. And admittingly, I have to say, there's a lot of really strong contenders here for favorites. I mean, I think I would have just out the gate said that the Jason Voorhees-inspired Dunny would have been my all-time favorite because, again, I like Jason Voorhees. But it may not necessarily make the top three. I mean, I really like the Ghost, for example, with or without the, uh, the, the sheet, of course. I think even without the sheet, having that skeleton face is pretty cool. And I like the idea of having the sheet over top of it. So I might even say that this one is my third favorite. I'm going to put that right over there. Second favorite, I may award it to, I think, the, I think the Scarecrow. I just like the design of the Scarecrow. I like how this little collar piece makes up the bottom half of its mask, where it's got the little rope there. And I also like the fact it's got this little crow sitting along the top of its head. Just got to be careful I don't drop that off. And I think this was, oh, this was, we got two of these. So I can have one displayed with the crow and I can have one displayed without the crow. So I'm going to say that's my second favorite. And I will say my favorite of all of them, even though, again, it was really hard pressed to pick a favorite, is probably the zombie that came included with the skull top. Just because, again, you can have two different ways of displaying it, but you only have one of these. So you have to really decide for yourself. I feel like this one would be very difficult to get the skull back on it. But I think I might even just display it without it because I really like the look of that one. These definitely scream Halloween. And I think now that I've opened these all up, I could find maybe a place on the mantle where I could put some of these dunnies, primarily like this one right here, or maybe more to the Halloween s s uh, theme of things. We could probably put this one up here. Even though this one probably would have been a runner-up, I would say maybe this one was fourth favorite. But let me know down below in the comments, guys, what you thought your favorite was of the Brand Peters, the 13th, the horror comes slithering back. This was quite a long video, so again, I want to thank everybody who took the time and watched the video from beginning to the end. I'd like to again think that we had some laughter, we had some crying, we had some spooktacular things happening. And of course, there's going to be a lot more spooky spots coming your way during the month of Spottober. So keep your peepers peeled for that. If you are new to the channel, you like spooky stuff, you like regular reviews and spooky reviews, well, this is the place where you'll find both. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, turn the bell notification on, and most definitely stay tuned to this channel Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's right, Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's two videos a day, and we're going to sprinkle in there like excessive amounts of icing sugar, spooky related videos, and regular videos. So you're going to get the best of both. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>